Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be exploring the mystery of Watson's cabin. And we're also going to be taking a look at a secret outcome as well. So if you guys have never been up to Watson's cabin, it's kind of hard to miss. It's at the sort of upper left-hand portion of the map just north of Strawberry and north of Watson Station. And if you visit here upon entering for the first time, you'll be greeted by a less than charming little old lady. Take a listen to this conversation right now. About damn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell, and I ain't in a sociable mood. Which one are you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. It's through the back there. No meddling. Wait a second now. I don't remember you. I thought they said be one of them Russell boys. They normally say if they send in somebody new. You always this hospitable with your guests, lady? Let me give you some advice. Turn around. Walk out of here. Get far, far away. I'll do worse than that if you don't stop squawking. I said, get the hell out of my house! Now, you son of a bitch! Take that, you son of a bitch! That's it. I'm gonna find my sons. They'll skin you alive when I tell them what you've done. So you can see there that she does not know who we are, but the person who she's expecting is supposed to be dropping loot in the cellar. And I think eventually she realizes that you're the wrong person. And if you actually start stealing stuff around her house, she'll actually stomp outside and say that she is going to get her sons who are going to come up here and cause a lot of trouble. And then she ends up getting on her donkey and rides away, which is kind of funny. Now, you can go back inside and explore the rest of the house. There's actually a lot of goodies to take here. Canned foods, provisions, health cures, jewelry, coin purses, and whatnot. So it is worthwhile to stop by. And if we actually check out the inside, we can examine a photograph of the fate we are likely going to meet. You guys can see that right there looks like to be a photo of her and her four sons that she has gone to gather. Now, if you also go to this place, you will find a semi-automatic shotgun in the cellar. So if you are looking for a nice weapon, this is somewhere that you should probably go. And on the surface level, that looks like that's it, that the mystery is solved, that that lady just stormed out, and that's it. Well, what happens if you come back a day later? What will you experience? Well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video today. And as you approach the cabin, you'll actually hear some chatter on the inside. I don't know who's dumber, you, Ethan, Edgar, or Ezra. Keep telling you, Ma, we'll get you a new place. Anything you want. Ain't like we're short on money. I don't want a new place. I got everything I need right here. How many times, Elijah? Shut your mouth or I shut it for you. We got a visitor. So as you saw there, the four sons ended up breaking down the door and putting us at gunfire. Now, I did not want to immediately kill the sons because I wanted to sort of dispatch them and deal with the little old lady. Now, this was a little bit difficult than I had anticipated because all of them are armed and uh, lassoing them individually is slightly difficult. So you might have to use some health cures here, but once you get them down to either one or two, it does get pretty easy. Now from there, I went inside and I lassoed the old lady too because she was giving me a lot of yap and I wasn't having that. And I wanted to see what would happen 
if we actually kidnapped this little old lady? What would her sons do? This test is very similar to what we did with Bray Aberdeen the other day. What would the sons do if we ended up kidnapping their mother? Now, before I did any of that, I wanted to loot them, see if they had anything special on them. Turns out they really don't. And then I just decided to line them up in front of their house. And I put their mom on the back of the horse and just sort of like trotted around them. Now, from here, what I was thinking to do was actually untie all of them and see what would happen. And I started to untie them and that worked okay, but one of them would like not lose his repeater, which was kind of frustrating. And another one ended up having a pistol on him as well. So unfortunately I had to dispatch some of the sons, but I was able to keep one of them alive. And it turns out that, yep, this guy will chase his mother who's been kidnapped by me to the ends of the earth. Now, one thing I briefly want to mention before you end up running away with the mom and the sons is make sure you go check the lockbox on the inside. This is actually a house robbery that you can do in game. And that lockbox has like $75 or something like that. So that actually is pretty good money. So it's something you definitely don't want to just walk away from. So before you dive into any hijinks and shenanigans, it's something you're going to want to check out. So I thought that that was pretty funny that this NPC would literally follow us forever. And since I knew that he was going to do that, I, I put him out of his endless walk of misery. And I finally let the grandma go on the ground. And this was stunning to me. This grandma is like Floyd Mayweather. I mean, she ended up putting some haymakers on me and I was not expecting it. And I ended up getting killed by her. So lesson learned here. Do not mess with a grandma that's been kidnapped and her sons just killed because she will mess you up. And that's exactly what happened to me. So that is the first experiment that I wanted to try. The second experiment has us doing something very interesting. So in order to do this, you will have to go back. So I would recommend saving relatively close to Watson's cabin. And the exact same thing is going to happen. You're going to go inside. You're going to disturb the grandma. You're going to cause her to storm out. And uh, once that happens, you're going to repeat the exact same process. You're going to sleep. You're going to wait for about a day. And you're going to return. However, this time, instead of engaging with the brothers, you're going to simply run away. Now, this might be a little bit difficult because the game like automatically will give you dead eye. And so it might be tempting to shoot them. Don't just run away. Now, once you've run away and once you've seen that all that your red icons have disappeared from your map, what you want to do from there is simply sleep again. You want to let another couple of hours go by. I simply waited till it was daytime. And once you've done that, you want to return to the cabin for the third and final time where you'll be greeted with something oh so creepy. So you'll actually notice that upon entering the cabin, the grandma is not there. The sons are not there. But if you go to the bed, there's a new option to check the body. How creepy is that? And if you do check on the body, you will pull back the sheet to reveal a cold, gray, sort of decrepit granny or mom, I don't know who she is, that's sitting there. And Arthur says, whew, that smells. So yeah, that is kind of crazy. If you do nothing, she will actually die, which is nuts. What a sad ending to this story. Now, something else that's secretive that happens if you return this third time is there's actually going to be a wanted poster that you can inspect as well. So you can see it says Edgar Watson escapes jail. I think that's one of the sons. Sheriff places $500 bounty on the head of Ethan Watson. I wonder if that grandma got him out of being hanged because it says escapes jail hours before hanging. Is that where she went on her little donkey? Did she go get them out of jail? That seems like that could be the case. And on the very top photo right there, it looks like you can see all four of the sons right there as well. So this was a very interesting scenario, let's just say that. And you can actually get a secret outcome for Watson's cabin. So anyways, that right there is the mystery of Watson's cabin solved in Red Dead Redemption 2. And we figured out what happens if you kidnap this old lady and also what happens if you leave her. You get that secret outcome where she dies, which is kind of crazy. So anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more on this as well. 
If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.